Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make Twinkies. Oh yeah. Growing up, we had a hostess bakery store uh, about a mile away and my mom uh, and I would go there and we'd get all kinds of different breads and treats like Twinkies. Um, it was a sad day when that store closed down, tell you what. <laughs> I had a request to make Twinkies, so here we go. That's what we're gonna do. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get baking. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. First, let's preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we need to make our pans. Yes, we're gonna make our little um, Twinkie pans. You, there is a pan that you can buy, a Twinkie pan, uh, funny enough, but it's pretty expensive. So if you don't wanna spend like 15, 20 bucks on that pan, um, we can make our own out of aluminum foil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some foil, rectangle piece, fold it over, and then in half again. Pretty simple, right? So it leaves us a nice uh, rectangle of foil. And then we are gonna take a spice container. Now these ones, kind of the normal spice size is kind of the size of a traditional Twinkie. And so what you'll do is you'll just take your um, spice container and you'll fold this up on it. Just fold it up like that. And then we'll just bring in the sides, okay? And I do that on this other side. Fold those up, curl those in. And we made a nice little container that we can pour our cake batter in. And then you just take it out. And there you go. Pretty cool. And then what we'll do is we will place them in a container like this. Now that I have these done, I went ahead and just sprayed them with a kitchen spray so our cake won't stick. All right, let's set these aside. And now let's start on, start on our cake part. So the Twinkie cake is kind of a mix between a pound cake and a sponge cake. So what we're gonna do to make it simple, I just have a pound cake mix here. It's a 16 ounce or one pound mix. And you could do like a homemade, I have a homemade pound cake here on my channel. And you could take those, the dry ingredients from that. Next, we'll take our two thirds cup of water. So we're not gonna use what it says to use on the back of the box. And then let's mix this. Scrape the sides with our spatula. Great, once it's all mixed, Let's set this aside. And now we take our four egg whites and we are going to beat them until we have stiff peaks for them. All right, so you beat it until you get really, really tiny bubbles and then when you pick it up like this, see how that stays there? That's called a stiff peak. All right, now we take our cake batter and then we're just gonna fold in our egg whites and we're gonna incorporate these egg whites. And this will help to make our cake batter nice and fluffy, yeah. Just kinda of go underneath it, turn in, underneath it, fold over. Okay, about like that, and we're left with a nice, airy, light cake batter. Now, we need to start filling, up, filling these up, and we wanna fill them up, oh, about a half of the way full first. So with a measuring spoon, you can just come in here and take some batter and then just pour it right in there. Once we have all of them about halfway filled, we're gonna bake these at 325 Fahrenheit or 162 Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes until nice and golden brown on top. And then when you poke it with a toothpick, it comes out clean onto that step. And then when they come out of the oven, they will look something like this. Don't be too concerned if they're not too brown on top, as long as when you poke it with your toothpick, they come out clean, uh, they'll be ready to go. 
We're gonna go ahead and let these cool. Now let's make our filling. I have two teaspoons of hot water here. We're just gonna add one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then we want to just stir that around. We want us the salt to dissolve. All right, great. And now to a large bowl, I have about 200 grams or seven ounces of marshmallow cream. And most uh, supermarkets will have this. Come in with a spatula. And now let's add one third cup of powdered sugar, about a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then one, one half cup of shortening or butter. And we'll add that water with salt. And now let's just blend this all together with the mixer. Scrape the sides. Now what we'll do is we want to take this filling and I'm using a pastry bag, but you could just use like a Ziploc bag if you don't want to have, have one. And then I have a like an injection tip, um, but it's okay if you don't have one, you could just snip the corner of the bag and just make do with that. And then we want to just fold that over your hand and with your spatula, we'll just put it on in there. And then we'll just Fold that up, twist, and then ready to go. Now we take our little Twinkie or cake and just take it out of our little mold here. Awesome. And then what we want to do is we want to poke holes in it. And I can just use like a wooden chopstick or a wooden skewer. And we want to go in there and just kind of move it around a little bit and kind of carve out the middle part for it. You know, each Twinkie has three holes, right? So go in there. If you want to poke too far. I poked a little too far in that. You don't want it to come out at the bottom. Okay, and then with our filling, just pipe some in there. There we go. And then if you have some off the top, you can just scrape it off. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll come in here and take a bite. Mmm. And you got your filling and the cake. So good. There we go. The homemade Twinkies are done. Turned out fantastic. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. I'm gonna grab this little guy right here. Mm -mm -mm.